Hey, hey, hello. This is for the love of dogs and briar horses. I'm Renee. I'm Ash. This is Sai River Musu. I know. And Keila's running around here, but it's just nosing my, my thigh. That was weird. Oh, there he is. <laughs> um, so, uh, I keep forgetting to say this because we haven't done it in like the last three videos that we just did. Four videos, I don't know. Um, but if you like what we're doing, like, subscribe, comment on the video. Helps us out a lot. Um, if you're new, uh, we are into the Briar Horse hobby and we do unboxings and uh, toy hunt videos and Briar Fest experience videos and uh, I'm hoping to do some um, like some explanation videos on you know the types of uh, Briars that are out there like regular runs, special runs, uh, you know if, if you're new to the hobby Sorry. <laughs> her, her bathrobe is falling off. <laughs> it's a little big on her. Yes, it is. Uh, but, uh, but yeah. Today, her arm's not even in the hole anymore. I know. Uh, we're going to be doing our, this was our after Christmas, uh, December 26th toy hunt video. Um, I originally was going to show the footage of us going to the stores, but I ended up buying so much that if I show that and do the unboxings over here, it's going to take forever. So, um, I think what I'll do is just talk about, let's see, where we went. Uh, so we went, we started in Bryan, Ohio, uh, went to Defiance, Ohio, uh, went to Wauseon, Ohio, and then went to... Well, we went through Toledo, but mm -hmm. we went, ended up in Lambertville, Michigan, and then came back to the, uh, Toledo and stopped at one more. Um, and surprisingly enough, there was quite a bit left over, um, and they were all 40% off. We hit mostly tractor supply stores, but we hit one family farm and home store, um, and this this is this is my haul. Um, Ash also brought bought some stuff, but. Uh, uh, I have enough here to open that we don't need to do that um, but so I ended up with a if you can lift them up on your side of the table uh, I got a second Jolene which is in the front of the table there um, and then that is the Ashton that I found and then the one behind that is a sword um, which uh, I did an unboxing of him earlier this, or well, in December, so I will link a video to that if you want to see him unboxed, but um, these three there I'll probably just keep and try to sell at Briar Fest. Um, and then the one I have behind that is Battlefield Angel, um, which I bought for Ash for Christmas, and then we went to the tax store in um, Michigan. Lambertville, Michigan, and he was the only one that was not on sale, um, but Ash had to go there to pick up her, um, jewel, or jewels, um, from the tax shop that she ordered, uh, that finally came in while we were there. I picked him up because when I bought him for Ash and seen how pretty he was, I really, really wanted him, so, um, and then, let's see, I got this Western Horse and Rider set, um, I'm on the fence about whether I want to open this or not, or if I just want to try to resell it. I probably will open it just to do an unboxing, but I think I'll do it in a future video along with the uh, piece, keep the piece classic uniform here, or Freedom Series, whatever we're calling them. Um, I'll probably do these in a, a, an unboxing later, uh, just because I have so many of the stable meats to open. Um, can you lift up the stirrup? Uh, I did find another one of those, and then we also found the FFA um, ornament. We never did find the traditional. the traditional size of that model, but we did find the um, ornament. You got one of those too, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, Ash bought one of those, and then everything else that I bought was stable baits. Um, yeah, and I probably won't keep any of these, but I am going to open them because they are all the surprise ones. Um, so do you think I should start with the full sets first or should I do the blind bags? 
So I believe these are all Series 3 blind bags, and my dogs are going to look very interested the entire time because they're going to think their treats coming out of these bags. But, yes, I know what is in there. Especially not for you. Lay down. Or sit down. Sit. There you go. They'll lose interest once I start opening them and they realize there's nothing. Nothing that they want. Now, I imagine I probably will not find the rare mystery one. Just because... I bought this at the end of the year, and I think a lot of people go in there and they can fill them up and figure out which is which, mm -hmm. but you never know. So, let's, oh, I don't have this. No. Here. Ah. Okay, so this is, let's see, nothing you want. Well, you might want to eat it because you eat shit that you're not supposed to. Alright, so this is the paint horse, um, is this rain mm -hmm. horse? Um, you know, for a stale made, it's got a nice detail on him. Mm -hmm. I have that one. Oh, yeah. Is that one? It's, it's a story, so. Oh, well, I did forget to mention, too, before I get too far into this. Um, I found two of these puzzles, 500-piece uh, briar purples, which uh, I'd seen in the catalog, but I didn't realize that the stores got in, and we only found these at one store, and I found both of them there, because I bought both of them. Um, wow. Which is kind of neat. I'll keep one for me, and I'll probably sell the other one. All right, so I got the little reining horse. It's supposed to be like this or here? I think he actually sits like that most of the time. Huh. Okay. And I thought. I thought these little things were $2.99 a piece. Alright, and this is the Mustang. It's got a little nose snip. It's kind of neat. What do you say? Yeah. Thing. Oh, this is series four. So I have a mixture here between series four and series three. Mm, this would be the standard bread. I wonder how well he stands. Huh, better than his traditional counterpart. Alright, this is series three again. What is he? Icelandic, I think. Mm. He's the Icelandic, done Icelandic. Would you all? He's not really done because he's not straight. Right, so he's just boxy. Boxy, that's right, I knew that. Alright, here's series four. So, and this is uh, on the Alfaroso. Mm -hmm. Little mini one, I can do that one. Alright, this is series four as well. Five here. I don't know if this is a designer breed or what, but they call it a Wakaluta. Yeah. Cross between a Tennessee Walker and Appaloosa. They are they are a thing. Okay. Well, I'm doing so far. I haven't got double gaming yet. Of course, now that I say that. Mm -hmm. Yep. Now that I say that. Or no, this is different too. <laughs> uh, this is Sport Horse. He just looks very sick. Yep. And he stands about as good as his traditional camper. Alright, series three again. Yeah, different. This is the quarter horse. Series three. Well, I'm, I'm right so far and then I haven't gotten any of the chase pieces. Mm -hmm. I did get a double. 
so this is the QR again. I signed it. I signed it. It kind of looks like the shorts. Coloring. But the shorts uh, don't show. Alright, and then this is series three. Which is the quarter bar. So, you know, out of the, the ones I bought, I only got two repeaters. So that's actually not bad. So, I'll do probably a group shot of these on my little carousel thing over there at the end. Just because there's so many of them. I should have kept the bag over here, but it's trash. Okay. And then... We've got the Forceful Surprise, and I bought three of these, which is what they had. And then there's two of the uniform ones, which I think this is all three sets that shows here, so. Mm -hmm. I think I bought all of those when we opened them up on a previous video. Yes. Same ones or different ones? Mm -hmm. Same ones. Really? Mm -hmm. So they're all bay? No. Not all of them. Two of them are, if I remember correctly. I don't remember. I thought you had different ones. Don't they mm -hmm. do different ones every year? Yeah, but I bought I bought these and we opened them up. What else? Mm -hmm. Did you do the uniform ones too? I don't know if we opened them other than video. Okay, well, I'll have to go back and check our video log and make sure these are the same ones. Mm -hmm. they are. I, I definitely remember opening these. This one. Because I was disappointed in the color of the fold. Because it was bay. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, that was going to be my guess anyways, because they like to make them bay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. I If you want to see those, I'll link that video as well. Um, once I figure out which video it is. <laughs> but I don't think we did the uniform ones. Might not. I might have just opened them on my own. Because I bought them, like, last year last Christmas or something. I mean, it's been a while. Apparently they have family names. And this is the Earthfire family. So we will see what full I don't think, I think these might be different from the ones I have. This is a little appy. Yeah. I'm not sure I have that one. Well, wow. that's a cute little fold. Mm -hmm. That's the easiest way to do it. All right, I don't know if I'm going to take them off just because they're a pain, but I think they'll work full well. So there's the little fold. It's a uh, I'm assuming the one in the back is the mayor. No. <laughs> I guess the one in the front is. Pick me which one you want. I don't know. With these two parents, you get a foal that is the more orangey color with the apple spots. Which is kind of cute. And like I said, I probably won't keep any of these, so I don't want to separate them, so I don't know if I want to sell them as a set or try to keep them together, but. I was trying to sell them as a set and see one separately. Then we'll see if it's good. All right, and then I got this other one, which is the green, and this is the Moon Glow family. I think I did get these two. So if you have a purple mom, or actually, that might be the dad. Yes, if you have a purple dad and a green mother, apparently you will come out and tell her. And a unicorn, so they might change color. Maybe when he grows up, to our shop. Actually, I like the foal's color more than I like the parents' color. That's a laying down foal. So, yeah, that's what I got. So, uh, should I open 
I also angel in this one, or should I wait for an inspiration? Wow. Is how long you want to let it be? Well, we have to come back and do another one, so. Um, I think I'm going to leave it here for now, and I will open up Ezra, or Battlefield Angel, and the two uh, classic or freedom series um, in another video. So, but anyways, uh, did anybody else do this? Did they, does anybody else go and try to get discounted briars <laughs> on the 26th of December? Um, and oh, we didn't even talk about the storm, but I hope everybody weathered that okay because I know it hits the U.S. pretty hard. Mm -hmm. um, we didn't get it as bad as some places. Yes, at some places, Definitely. but we did get very, very cold temperatures. Yeah. High um, wind. High wind. Oh, we, we got very little snow, though. Um, but it was uh, probably, I think we dipped down at least 20 below with the wind chill. It was more like 30. Um, and real, real temperature was like negative 9. Yeah, so. it, it was cold. It was cold. Um, cold enough that none of my dogs wanted to go outside and potty. Mine did. <laughs> Went out and pottied. Every single time I let him out like a champ. Well, way to go, Ace. <laughs> My dogs are just big babies when That's it comes. That's why he's so tired now. <laughs> Suck all the warmth out of him. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, so it gets below zero and my dogs are like, uh-uh, we're out. <laughs> we're dipping out. So, but yeah, I hope everybody uh, weathered the storm okay. I hope everybody's dogs got through it okay. Um, People with livestock. That was... Yeah. Mm. Uh, so... But, uh, yeah, comment below if your dogs wouldn't go outside. See, ya. Let's see how many other have big baby dogs. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I think that's it for this video, guys. Um, we'll uh, see you in the next one. Um, yeah. <laughs>